In this video, we're going to discuss another inspection technique called ultrasonic inspection or ultrasonic testing. And another word for ultrasonic is ultrasound. So in effect, what we're actually using in this test is very high frequency sound waves. And in the top right hand corner here, I've mentioned that the frequency of those sound waves is somewhere in the order of 0.1 to 50 megahertz. Bear in mind that mega is million. So we may have frequencies as high as 50 million cycles every second. Now the actual frequency that's used in the test would be dependent on the material that's being used and also the thickness of the material. So in the center here we have our ultrasonic test unit and first of all we're going to use this to detect the wall thickness of a pipe or cylinder. So on the left hand side we have the wall of our pipe or cylinder and on top of that we have the transducer of our test unit. Here we have a transducer. Now the role of the transducer is to convert the electrical signal from the test unit into the sound wave and they actually use materials known as piezoelectric materials that when they're supplied with an electrical current they actually begin to vibrate and that vibration is what creates our sound waves. So our transducer is able to do two things. First of all it's able to transmit a signal. So from our transducer we're transmitting these high frequency sound waves. So it transmits. And when those sound waves reach interfaces, they actually reflect. So we have an interface. In this case, it's the inside of the pipe or tube. And when the sound wave reaches that interface, it reflects. And now our transducer needs to receive. So it transmits a signal and then it receives the signal. Now our test unit is going to have a display and on that display we're going to see the response from this. So what we'll actually see is a peak for the transmitted wave and then we'll see a peak for the received wave. Now the amplitudes of these waves may differ slightly because some of the energy of the sound wave would be absorbed by the material, but we get a response on the test unit. Now this can tell us a number of things, because if we're trying to determine the thickness of this pipe wall, then that's going to be directly linked to the distance between these two peaks. So we can actually use ultrasound to determine the wall thickness of our pipe or cylinder. Let's take a look at another example, and this time we're going to use ultrasound or ultrasonic testing in order to detect a floor, and this time the floor is underneath the surface. We've seen different inspection methods that can be used when the floor or defect is on the surface, but here it's under the surface. Okay, so this time we have a defect in the pipe, and again our transducer is able to transmit and receive a signal. Now in this instance what's going to happen is it's going to transmit a signal. Some of that signal is going to pass the crack and some of that signal is actually going to be reflected by the crack. So in effect it's going to receive two partial signals. Now the way that this would appear on the test unit display is as follows because we would have our transmitted signal as we did before but we would then have a received signal as a result of the crack, and then we would have a second received signal as a result of the interface. Now this information is particularly important because we still know the thickness of our pipework, and that would still be represented by the distance between these two peaks. But what we also have is a second distance, which is the depth to the crack or the defect. So we would also be able to establish this from our response. So not only can we detect the presence of a defect, but we can also detect the location of the defect. Now once again, interpretation of the results would need to be done by a certified engineer, but at least we should now be able to identify some of the advantages of this method. 
So one advantage is that you only need access to the outside of the pipework. So if we consider the transducer here, we only need access to the outside of the pipework and we can determine the thickness and the location of any faults. That means this can be used whilst the component is still in service. Now secondly, we can use this method to detect flaws that are positioned underneath the surface, which is unlike the two inspection methods that we've already seen. Now these units can be portable, and they also give immediate results, so there's numerous benefits to ultrasonic inspection. Another huge advantage is that it can be used for all sorts of different materials, material thicknesses, locations and industries, so it really is a very versatile inspection method.